Hi everyone! So before we start this episode, just a small disclaimer. In this episode, we talked about pap smear and HPV jabs and I might have mistaken them for the same thing. <laughs> uh, but when I talked about going for a pap smear before the age of 26, I was referring to the HPV vaccination under the National Childhood Immunization Schedule, NCIS. Sally, sally. And on that note, if you're under 26, uh-huh. do consider a HPV vaccination to reduce your risk of getting cervical cancer. And if you're between 25 and 29 and have had sex, uh, pap test or a pap smear is encouraged to look for abnormal changes in the cervical cells and this too can be done at a subsidized rate under Singapore Screen for Life National Cervical Cancer Screening Program and this is not sponsored okay <laughs> we just want to make sure we give you the right information and now that's out of the way let's cue introduction hi y'all I'm Hazel hi I'm Azura and I'm Jermaine and welcome again back to Clarity's Hush Podcast okay you could barely hear us on that one that was ridiculous <laughs> But if you haven't listened to our International Women's Day podcast, mm-hmm. I think we touched on some really personal experiences. I want to thank Hazel and Azura for both sharing really from the bottom of your heart. I think mine was okay, but mm. for Azura, this is the first time ever she's coming out and you know, telling this story publicly mm-hmm. to people. How mm-hmm. do you feel after that? Yeah, it was my very first time sharing this story ever. Mm-hmm. And I don't think everyone around me knows about it either. Mm-hmm. So um, I was very unsure actually if I was going to share it. And even up till like just before I entered the studio, I was still thinking like, you know, should I? Because we don't discuss beforehand. And I think that's why they were very surprised as well. Mm. And you should have seen the look on our producer's face. My yeah. goodness. Oh my Putting goodness. that guy behind bars for 13 months. Mm-hmm. That's incredible. If you don't know what we're talking about, go listen to the podcast. Yes. It's really worth listening to and I'm sure it made an impact on a lot of people yeah. going through a similar situation. Exactly. Yeah. And with that, so. Azura, I don't think you are overreacting. <laughs> like... Like, not at the all. The theme of this episode. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I Over-re- love the title. Acting? Are we overreacting? Overreacting. Yes. yes, because our ovaries can win the Hong Sing Ta Siak. <laughs> <laughs> but today we're actually going to talk about something um, entirely different. It's women's health. Okay. Right? Mm. And we're specifically going to talk about, I guess, abnormal bleeding. Um, not during your period, of course. I mean, during your period, yes. But in between, sometimes mm. you get spotting, you get bleeding. Let me just ask you guys, has that ever happened to you where either your period is irregular, your flow is way too heavy or way too light, or you bleed in between periods? Mm, my ovaries and I have a very strange relationship. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> Long distance? And no, no, it has a mind of its own. Wow. wow. What does that mean, eh? <laughs> okay, so right, I got my period like really late. Mm. Okay. Like, I think I only started bleeding properly, like maybe 16. All right, right, right you mentioned this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, it's very strange. I don't think I've mentioned this before. I usually try and like brush it off because I don't know what the hell happened. Oh. But I think I bled when I was 14. You think you bled? Yes, I think I bled. Mm. But I think it only happened once the entire year. Oh. So initially when I bled, right, I was like, oh, my period is here. Yeah. Okay. But then that was the only time it happened. And then it never happened again. And for huh. how long did the bleeding last? Do you remember? Um, Maybe just a little bit. And maybe just like one, two days kind of thing. Oh. Mm. And then maybe the next year, it happened again once. Oh. Wow. So interesting. Convenient, ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can every year be like that? <laughs> That's actually not healthy. Oh, okay, okay. Correct, <laughs> not correct. Healthy. That's not healthy. Correct. That's not normal. So that happened again. Mm-hmm. And then, so I consider like my period only coming at like 16 because that was only when it started like coming properly. Mm. Right. But even then, it was very irregular. So maybe in a year, I would get it maybe like three to five times. Yeah. Like it would come this month, it would come next month, and then it would disappear for like three, four months. Okay. And then it will okay. come again. Yeah. And I think because my mother has mentioned to me that when she was younger, right, mm. um, hers was also irregular. Oh. So I thought like, oh, maybe genetics, la, you yeah. know. So, so you never consulted a doctor? So I didn't. Yeah, I didn't oh. bother with up that. Up till today? Mm, up till oh, today. Okay. And then many years later, eventually, maybe after I hit like before mid-twenties or something, mm. and then it started coming very regularly. Oh, oh, that's great. So it's been very regular, like every month. Mm. But recently, mm. recently. Oh. Are you going to break this piece of happy news on Hush Woo-hoo! Podcast? <gasps> Bun Our in first the oven. Hush, baby. Mm, no. no. Oh, no. no. Okay. No Auntie Jermaine and no Auntie Hina. Aya. Aya. I just want to be an auntie here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what happened recently? But recently, it's been 
I wouldn't say irregular because it still comes monthly. Okay. okay. But it's just been... I think the cycle has sort of stretched. Huh. Yeah. Ooh. So like, let's say, right, initially it was supposed to come like 11, 12 kind of date. Okay, sure. And then eventually it came maybe like... 16, 17. But then the next oh. month, you would think it would come like 16, 17 as well. No, that it stretches later. Okay, oh, okay. the cycle mm. has extended. So yeah, maybe the next month, month it expands 20. more. Oh. Ah. Okay, okay. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. For me, um, the first time ever I got my period, like I shared in the past season. You bled on your friend's sofa. <laughs> my goodness! <laughs> oh, red no. velvet sofa. I will never forget that, okay? At least it was my red. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I still can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, so Pisces. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, I was bleeding for nine days straight and the <gasps> flow was crazy, man. I remember the first time ever I got my period and I couldn't sleep, you know. Throughout the night, I just kept waking up to change shots. I changed oh my so gosh. many pairs of shots that I really didn't have shots for sleeping anymore. I changed like six pairs of shots in one night. Oh, you never but, just sleep in the toilet? Le. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> Put a pillow there. Exactly. You know, in the end, what happened? My mom had yeah. to put a plastic bag beneath the the mattress, the bed sheet, oh my so God. that uh, even if my my blood flows out, right, you know, yeah. it wouldn't hit the mattress. Right. That's what we call a red mud. <laughs> Hey, but that's only the first time, ah. Yeah, then I think it started to get a bit more regular. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah, but um, interestingly, last year during the circuit breaker mm-hmm. period, I don't know why or what happened. Maybe I got a bit more rest and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, a, a bit less exercise and moving around because we couldn't go out, right? Mm. Um, my period was later than usual. So oh. I do think that the amount of rest and the amount of exercise that we are getting affects our period mm. for sure most mm. definitely yeah. yeah and we'll talk a bit more in a bit more detail about you know our own experiences mm. and what could possibly happen to you as well yeah. for me i think my i was just telling these ladies hey at lunch right hey yeah. my period has been pretty regular over the mm. years i've been very lucky mm-hmm. then suddenly as i stepped into the studio i was bleeding lah. <laughs> but you're not supposed to be bleeding i now. just had my period on the first day of Chinese New Year, super oh hot. Oh my goodness! Yes. Wow. So it does not make sense. And I track my period using my iPhone health app. So I right. know exactly when my period is coming. Mm. Okay, by the way, as we're filming this, uh, yeah. it's uh, 正月十二, which means the 12th day of the Lunar New Year. Yeah, so, so you basically just completed your period through. one week ago? Yeah. And it's here again? Yes! Uh, it, I don't know if my period is here, but I'm having... I'm bleeding. So much so that I actually have to go and wear a tampon. Come on, how you see? Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think this is very hot leh. Very hot, eh? I'm very <laughs> confused. Goodness, eh? But I hope to find out what's happening with me through this podcast. Maybe it's spotting. We'll give you a diagnosis by the end of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, okay. Let's find out what's happening. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, this this whole like abnormal menstruation, uterine bleeding, spotting, it actually happens to a lot of females mm. throughout different stages in your life. And I feel like it's not talked about enough. For example, now I don't even know what's happening with myself. Oh. So why do you think, right? we don't have this kind of like education or we don't have this information. That's true. Uh. Mm. Should we, we? Yeah, can we have schools have this? What? It's funny uh, because we may think that our mothers may teach us more about such things, right? True. But now that I think of it, I don't even know if, if my they know. mom knows what's going on. Correct. Mm. You know what I mean? Because Correct. definitely my, my grandmother wouldn't be talking to her about these kind yeah. of things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that that's crazy, right? Like we even if they were to share some experiences or some information with us, mm. they may not be accurate. That's true, yeah. Right? I, I think with most people, um our producer actually put a note here, you will likely announce to your girlfriends when you're having a period, but not when you're experiencing abnormal bleeding. But I just announced it to you guys. <laughs> Maybe for other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because we say everything, right? Correct, correct. Yeah. We, we are contractually obligated to... No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but you see, if if we didn't have this harsh podcast, right? You mm. know how, who I would tell? My boyfriend. He would have no idea what to do with it. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay, and... <laughs> How can I help? Uh, I go see doctor with you. Yeah. <laughs> like, no lah, right? Obviously, we don't need to see a doctor for this. Yeah. But I do tell my girlfriends about such things, though. Uh, yeah, maybe because we are more open minded, mm. you know, we don't we don't mind sharing. Yeah. Uh, and you know, my best friend is always Google. I will always <laughs> Google to find out what the heck is going on in my VJJ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Google it's holds true. all the answers. Yes, right? it really does. Mm. So today we're actually going to explore this topic and hopefully shed some light on the mysteries of mm. abnormal bleeding. But mm. first, a disclaimer: we are not a doctor mm. for sure. If your situation is severe, go see a real doctor. 
Okay, yeah. Doctor <laughs> Hush is not real. Yeah. Doctor. Even Google also yeah, cannot. Even Google yes, yes, yes. cannot make yeah. a cut. Okay. I tell you the thing about Google. Uh, uh, if you have something right, okay, and you Google it, they'll tell you at the end of the day. Yeah, you're dying. Yeah, <laughs> not just that you're dying. You're dying tomorrow. Correct. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Finger God. cut. You're dying. Hey, fish I'll, bone in your throat. Also dying. dying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Our producer actually put a note here that yeah. um she used to experience spotting quite often, especially when she's stressed or mm. she's working a lot huh. without sleep. Oh. So at the beginning, she would go and look it up online, la, Like us, like right. go Google it, yeah. and the results are always either she's pregnant <laughs> or she has cancer. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh. Oh. Hey, oh my God, poor question, girl, question. Uh. Spotting means what? Uh? As in, does it mean mm. that it's super, super, super sporadic and it's really just literally a spot? Okay. Yes. So spotting is basically when it's it doesn't qualify as a flow. Okay. Yeah. So it's really just spots lah. Like yeah. Literally as the name suggests. Right. Okay. Correct. So here's yeah. the definition of spotting. Oh. Okay. Spotting usually is much lighter bleeding than normal menstrual bleeding. Okay. Unlike a normal period, it usually is so light that you don't require a pad or tampon, and it so may like be panty liners suffices. Mm. Yeah. Ah. For sure. Because it's so light, right? Mm. And it may be red or brown in color and occurs when you are not having your regular period. Huh. Huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. I don't think I've had that. Yeah, yeah me neither like actually. That. Okay, but mm. have you guys ever had a period flow, right, that was abnormal, means heavier than normal or lighter than normal? I know, Hazel, you said your first time. Yeah, mm. nine days in a row, man. That's ridiculous. My goodness. Oh my I thought goodness. I was dying from like the loss of blood. Like. But were you wearing like the thickest pad or at that time you didn't know? I she tell you, I was wearing the, the thickest <gasps> and the longest one from the start of my panty to the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding! <laughs> I was so worried, you know? Oh no! And I Body. literally asked my mom, Mama, <laughs> oh, no. Which means, would I die from the loss of so much blood? Because hey, I how really old were you? Like, uh? I think uh, I was like 13 or 14. Are you 14? What did your mom say? Eh? My mom said, Siao, <laughs> 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 like, Okay. But, but you know what? Another fun fact. This is why I feel like, you know, girls, we really need to be better equipped with um, mm, such knowledge. Yes. Because back when uh, I was really, really young, I also asked my friends, mm. eh, how come all these uh, blood donations uh, c- centres, they're always calling out to people to donate blood? Then why girls cannot go? Every month we've got so much blood. What? <gasps> no! Hey, eh, that was how naive I was when it came to knowledge, okay, on it, this kind of yeah, thing. To be honest, if it works, it would solve... The blood, correct? You know? Blood bank shortage. Yeah, I'm a very know. visual person, so I just like, had like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, they're going to extract the blood. Okay, okay. We're okay. not going to think about that. But that's when my friend told me, you know, mm. no, that doesn't work because yeah. the menstrual blood is sort of like dirty, dirty blood, blood that, you know, your body sort of like expels out. Yeah. Yeah, and it cannot be used for, of course, blood donation. Lah. I think it's not dirty blood. Like, it's just blood that you cannot it's, put into someone else because it contains yeah. uterine lining. Right, right, right. right, right. <laughs> okay, that's a better explanation. Right. Yeah, you don't want to put uterine lining into your bloodstream. I don't yeah. know how that's going to help. I know people eat placenta, but I don't <laughs> think this is a new <laughs> form of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But what about you, Azura? Do you have any like uh, lighter periods, lighter flow that it was basically nothing? I think my periods in general mm. are quite light and quite short. Wow. So they usually last maybe like the proper flow, right? Mm. Two, three days. Huh? Uh. Hey, that's quite short leh. Uh. Wow. And then after that, it's literally like, almost like spotting law. Negligible like, leh. Correct, correct. So yes. from the fourth the day on, you can just wear liners. I can ah. Mm. But usually I wear like the thinner, shorter pads. Just in case, right? Mm. Oh. Mm. Yeah, for me as well, f- now I'm uh, more regular. So maybe about a five, six day kind of mm-hmm. flow. Mm-hmm. Is that normal? Yeah, that is normal. Yeah, that's normal, normal, right? Yeah, but, it ranges uh, lah, but... Yeah. yeah, exactly. The second day is the heaviest for me. Mm. But from the fourth day onwards, like Azura, mm. you know, it gets so, so light, so yeah. little that, you know, actually wearing a panty liner may just suffice. Yeah, mm, okay. Mm. But was there any kind of like situation where you felt you had to go and see a gynae or a doctor? Mm, I don't know if I should see one because it's like irregular. Maybe I should mm. laugh since I never right. did. So, yeah. so that's the thing. You see, we always brush it aside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, if it's cause for concern, yeah. Yeah. maybe you should go and see a guy mm, to true. listeners listening to us. Yeah, and yeah. you should also see a guy to do a pap smear. Mm. I have not done one in hey, my life. I've done it. Hey. I've done it. Have you done it, Azura? No, no, I haven't. So I was so worried about it, right? Oh. And um, a Mediacorp artist friend told me that, you know, you should go for a pap smear because before the age of 26 or something, you should get the jabs in you oh. for, oh. The, for the... I think there's some yeah, cross right? really left. I have not a single yeah. jab in me. My goodness. Okay, but the pap smear process was quite interesting. Oh. So basically, she made me lie down on the bed. I was not prepared for this at all. Oh no. She made me lie down on yeah. the bed, remove my shorts, sure. 
spread my legs open and she stuck her finger in me. Ayoh. Like all the way. <gasps> ah! Can you imagine? Did she what tell you a bit? that she was going to do uh, this? She, she, she did, okay, she did, okay. she did. But okay. it went in like way, way deeper than I, I, I thought was necessary. Oh. oh! Yeah, but she really had to go all the way into, I don't know. Oh. It happened a year ago, so my mm, memory is right. a bit fuzzy. But I think she also stuck um, something else to sort of like extract whatever she wants right, to Right, to be extract. tested lah. Wow. Yeah, okay, to okay, be okay. tested. Yeah, yeah, it's an interesting experience. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would advise all ladies to go do it lah. Go get your pap smears done. And your HPV jabs. Yeah. Cervical cancer jabs. Yeah. Right. Okay. But right after that, COVID happened and till now, my pap smear results uh, are out. Dated one year ago mm. and I still haven't gotten my jabs. Oh, <laughs> I should get it oh, done I soon. See. Okay, yeah. okay. Here's your reminder if you're listening right now yep. and you haven't gotten, you know, yeah. the tests and stuff. Yeah, you should, you should get it done as well. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I think personally for me, like I said, I have been having pretty regular periods, right? Mm. Except for one point in my life when I decided to go on birth control. Okay. Wow. Nobody told me about birth control. Nobody told me the insane amount of side effects that come with birth control. Right. So I Wait, didn't know. how old were you? I was 17. Okay. Yeah. 17 or 18. 17 or 18. 18. Yeah, okay. I doesn't go on birth control, right? I didn't know that it would ca- cause, I don't know, like uh, some sort of like hormonal imbalance as you get used to it in the first few right. months, right? Oh. So then my friend told me, hey, do you know, right, if you just continue eating your birth control, you can skip your period. Means you don't huh? take that one week break. I do not advise this. Let what me just tell mean? you first because I've been through this where... In, in your birth control, you take three weeks, 21 days, and then one week off, that's when you have your period. Okay. okay. Or you get sugar pills, which is nothing. It's placebo. Okay. Mm. So if you skip the sugar pills, or if you're on a three-week pack and you just continue taking it, my friend told me that you could skip your period. So I, stupid, stupid, right? I was like, wow, I can skip my period? I won. Oh, so man. I continued taking my birth control okay. for about three or four months straight. Woohoo! I didn't get a period, but I was like, I think my hormones were everywhere. There was something that was wrong within me. You know, I got a bit like depressed because of this. Yeah, because of birth control and I was not using it right. So that's why this information is so important. Mm -hmm. Plus, it also caused my period to be very irregular for about Mm. a few months there because of this. Yeah. So don't abuse your birth control. Actually, right? I've heard people tell me like when my period was irregular, I've heard people say like, eh, Take birth control and that'll come regularly. No, it's true. It's true. Birth control, I mean, in my own experience, it helps mm. with cramps as well. I used to get really debilitating cramps kind. Right. But now it's very, very bearable. Oh. oh. So it oh. does help. I think it differs from person to person. See a doctor. Hmm, <laughs> correct. See a doctor. <laughs> I wish I had asked a doctor instead of my friend. <laughs> but didn't you do some like yeah. research work on the internet, Google, before you decided to go ahead? Oh. Uh, you trusted your friend with your right. life. Yeah. <laughs> I was young. Well, I was young. Well. Mm, correct. So oh. at that point, I, I didn't think to see a doctor. Like, I was just like, okay, I'm just mm. going to take it properly, you know. Mm, and mm, eventually, mm. I decided birth control was not for me. Mm. Mm, because it was causing a lot of side effects that right. mm. was not sitting well with me. I think our body still has to do what our body got to do, mm, you know. Yeah. Correct. Mm. Yeah. So if you got really heavy menstrual bleeding, here's something that you might have. It's called PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome. Mm. Or an underactive thyroid gland that's hypothyroidism is very very common in Singapore mm-hmm. uh, I think that you don't scare yourself <laughs> like mm. oh do I have this do I have this go and see the doctor but this these are some of the reasons why you could be experiencing heavier bleeding uh, mm. it could also be conditions like endometriosis and adenomyosis Wow, what's that? Dr. Jermaine in the <laughs> house. My goodness. That's basically irregularities. Oh. Yeah, with your uterus and your ovaries. La. Irregular say irregular. La. Irregular. <laughs> <laughs> if you have an intrauterine device, the IUD, right? Okay. It's a birth control method. Yeah. That you put inside, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it could cause heavy bleeding as a side effect as well. Oh. There's so oh. many reasons. That's what we're trying to say here. You know, right. Uterine or cervical cancers, miscarriage. All these can cause a whole myriad of different things. Right. Mm. Yeah. So that's why we really need to understand exactly what is going on. Uh. Hey, actually, mm. I have a story. So yeah. I've got this friend, right, um, who told me quite recently as well. So um, I think first it started with her, like, bleeding all the time. Okay. Oh? Like, what do you mean all the time? So like all days of the periods, month. Periods. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? <gasps> like, almost all days of the month. No. Can yeah. I send her something? I'm... I, <laughs> 
like a teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, and then because of that, right? So she went and get it checked out. Okay. And then I'm not sure of like the exact mm. terms. Yeah. But basically, I think her ovaries and her fallopian tubes, I mm. think, were like enlarged. Like they were maybe like double the size that <gasps> they were supposed to <gasps> be. Yeah. Okay. And she wouldn't have known if she didn't go get it checked out. Mm. That's scary. Mm. So it was either like she did surgery <gasps> or they said like um, you can try going on like medication and then we'll see how it goes. So she decided to try like the medicine route first mm-hmm. before doing surgery. So she's still on like medication. Um, but now it's like she'll bleed whenever and it's like sporadic it can come anytime and wow. it's not like spotting like it's a short flow right. but it just comes anytime oh so you have to be wearing a pad or a tampon all the, time, huh? all the freaking time yeah. can you imagine that's very stressful huh. yeah, yeah. Mm. well i mean at least she managed to find out mm. what was the cause mm. of it and mm. she's actively taking steps to kind of mm. see if it can get better yeah mm. okay so what about bleeding in between your cycle like you are now. Oh, like I am now. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, <laughs> so I'm really very confused because, like I told you, my period was less than was about a week ago. Yeah. Uh huh. So I'm not expecting it till eight of March. Here's a little disclaimer as well. If you're tracking your period, right, mm. use a reputable app or look into their privacy, um, kind of like statement because oh. a lot of these apps actually don't protect your data very well. Oh. And if you really, really put all your data, like today, what kind of flow am I having? Like other people in the world can see your data. Oh. So uh, for, for one thing, I know that the iPhone health app, that one is very secure. Okay. And they just created the new period tracking. So oh, for all those iPhone right. users, you can use that. But for Android users, please go check out um, the privacy and security. It's very important. Right. Oh, mm. interesting. So I want to share, right? I've been mm. using this app called the uh, Period Calendar. Oh, okay. But they're very thoughtful. They put it as just PC. Oh. So that, you know, uh, when Private the app shows, confidential. <laughs> <Pachuca. Okay. laughs> so when the app shows on your phone, right, uh, mm. people don't know it's a period calendar ah. kind of thing. So you have more privacy and intimacy in a sense. Um, so this PC, right, what it does is it gets you to uh, track the first day of a period okay. all the way to the last day. And mm. it can tell you uh, at this day and this date, what are your chances of getting pregnant? Wow. Right, that's kind of thing. Well. Yeah, 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 something like that. But I have never went to explore the privacy, privacy side of things. Right, right, like right. Jermaine mentioned. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so apps like this, I really think they help though. Mm. I really think mm. technology has improved a lot. Mm. But at the same time, this app cannot tell me why am I bleeding today. That's right. <laughs> I'm really very crazy. confused. Yeah. yeah, so it's not like a flow, but it is not spotting because I'm wearing a tampon right now. Right. So, our producer asked me earlier, am I experiencing cramping? I said no, but now I actually am. Oh. Maybe I had too much curry last night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think curry causes bleeding at <laughs> all. It could cause yeah. the cramp though. Okay, right, but here yeah. I want to share a story that mm. uh, our producer shared with us when yes. Jermaine was busy in the toilet just now. <gasps> oh. So, this story okay. involves um, stomach cramping on our producer's mm. side. Oh. Okay, our producer N. Yeah, all right. So, so basically, we covered the last time that producer yes. Anne just got married recently. Yes, mm. and so um she was missing for our last episode's recording because mm. she was on MC. Yeah, and correct. just now I asked her, hey, so what 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 do you get? Do you get a flu? And, and then um, I joked about it and I said, is there a bun? Oh, in the oven. And no. then she replied and said, oh the bun left. Yeah, I had that face too. Collect the hash stickers, oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is oh so dear. terrible to hear. Yeah, I know. Okay. But it's like, so basically, what happened was she experienced spotting, and then um, she was thinking like, what's up? And she had like the menstrual cramps and stuff like that. So she went to her doctor. So prior to this, she already knew that she was pregnant because she peed on a stick. Mm. And then when she went to the doctor, the doctor actually told her that, uh, oh yeah, this is like a a miscarriage. What do you call it? Biochemical miscarriage. Biochemical pregnancy. Oh, man. Biochemical, Biochemical pregnancy. pregnancy. Mm. So, according to her, this happens very often um, to women. Mm. But if she didn't 
pee on the stick, right, she wouldn't have known that she was pregnant mm. and, and that the have, bun left. Yeah. So she if would this, have thought it was a normal correct. Like, period. So if this happened to any ladies out there who didn't know they were pregnant, mm. they would have think they would have thought that, you know, this is just another uh, period lah. So could it, that be what's happening to you? Oh my god. No. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but the discharge didn't have like a whitish thing in it. No, no. Okay, okay. okay. So it, it feels, uh, it started off as menstrual cramps, mm. uh, and then it, it did start with spotting, but then it turns into a heavy flow. So it looks exactly like a period. Oh. oh so she said it started off with spotting, but yeah. it did turn heavier, so it looks exactly like a period. Oh. Right. So, so she, you really wouldn't have known if you... Yeah. Yeah. So, so she was saying because she knew she was pregnant, yeah, so yeah. there was no way she could have gotten a period, right? Understand. Yeah. That's why she went to get it checked out. Mm. So she also mentioned that this happens really early on in the pregnancy, right? Okay. right. So it's where like the fetus hasn't even developed. It's mm. literally just the embryo. So her colleague was like calling her asking, Oh, are you okay? And then she was like, Oh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm going to call it the hash stickers now. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't tell laughs> so, no, so, I really appreciate this yeah. hash sticker even Oh my goodness, more. really, yeah. really. Yeah, really, really. <laughs> just the <laughs> amount of love in this sticker. Yes. So. Yeah, if, if you want to yeah. win some hash stickers, right, go yeah. and follow uh, at itsclarity.co, yes. okay, our Instagram account. It's got powers in it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It will empower you. Yes. 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 Thank Blood, you very sweat, much, and yeah. tears. Mm-hmm. Producer, and thank you always for sharing and for for creating this podcast in the first place <laughs> yeah so that we have a space to safe space mm, to talk yeah. about these things and yes. to our listeners as well if you've been through something similar um as our producer really we hope that you know you take care of yourself take care mm. of your mental health and just know that whatever is meant to be is meant to be mm. yes mm. for sure so uh, we're actually discussing right now when bleeding occurs between your regular period, right? Okay. What are some of the causes? That was what? one of the examples. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, that could be ovulation spotting. This is a light bleeding that occurs when you ovulate, when your ovary releases an egg. Okay. Bloop, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Bloop. Not every woman <laughs> will experience this. In mm. fact, only about 5% of women, out of all women in the world, okay. actually experience spotting in the middle of their cycles. Oh. Oh. Maybe I'm the 5%. Maybe but yeah. first time, right? First time, yeah. Hmm. First time. Something big's about to happen. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll check for the egg later. Um, <laughs> there's also something called implantation bleeding. This okay. is in the first few days of pregnancy when the fertilized egg attaches to the uterine lining. Hmm. Um, many women mistake this for implantation bleeding because it happens so early they don't realise that they're pregnant. Oh. Hmm. Switching to birth control pills causes bleeding as well. Oh, like mm. what happened to you? Uh, last time, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think another disclaimer about birth control, please go and see a doctor because yeah. there's many, many different kinds of pills. Mm-hmm. You need to see which one works for you as well. Mm. Yeah, and it's it's not such a light decision. Mm. I took it way too lightly. Mm. Yeah. And they all have their like side effects as well. So. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Be educated on it. Yep. So rough sex. <gasps> oh, yeah. Or sexual assault. This can actually cause damage to the lining of the vagina and make you bleed a little bit. Eh. Oh. Eh, story time. You're off okay, sex okay. time. No, 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 oh. no, no, no. Erwan. No, so right. Um, so I have a friend. I swear. You have many friends. I think after this, uh, nobody wants to be my friend. <laughs> All their stories here, like. <laughs> How? Uh? No, but you don't name them. <laughs> okay, okay. It, it could be anyone. It could be okay. anyone. Yeah. Tell us. So I didn't hear this from her, but I heard this from another friend. Sure. So basically, my friend, as in they're both my friends. Hold on. <laughs> a and B. Okay, A and B. Okay, okay. A is the person involved here. B is the messenger. Mm. Okay. Okay. So B told me, A, A, A. I bumped into A the other day, and I said, Oh, oh, oh. Okay. It was either like bumped into her at the hospital or something like that, and she was like, Eh, what happened to you, lah? So apparently, right, like, something in her was damaged, like, huh? and it was quite high up there. Like, it's very strange. Like, we couldn't understand. If I'm not wrong, I could be wrong. Okay. But I feel like liver was mentioned. Liver? Or something up there, like, basically. Oh. Like, quite high up. Okay. So obviously, V was like, how? Yeah. Right? And then she was like, from sex. <gasps> No, she literally rearranged her guts. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't understand, right? I mean, none of us were there, so we don't know what actually happened. But we can't understand, like... Yeah. Got so big and took reach at that one, she man. She must be very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, got so big one, man. Wow. Huh? 
That's okay. In- that's incredible. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. Then, then what happened? <laughs> Basically, that's it. Like, so she was oh, bleeding from yeah. it and it was injured. Like, it was that organ or whatever it was. I can't remember now. But it was literally like damage-ish. Because like... Oh my goodness. Like, can I hit lah? Can I hit? And I'm like, huh? Like that. Yeah. Was okay. <laughs> oh, hey, many oh, funny wow, things wow. are. Right? Mm. But I was thinking about it and I was like, I don't think... It's a human part. I think it must have been a foreign object. <laughs> I think so too. Like I this guy so is too. not from Singapore. Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, okay. Okay. Probably. Huh? Most probably. Yeah. So you know, be careful of what you put <laughs> down there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No brain jaws, yeah. <laughs> Cucumbers, Cucumbers are no, are so no. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, many of my uh, listeners or my personal friends have commented mm. at, uh, how how much they love how uncensored Hush Podcast is. <laughs> hey, I hope that's that, a good thing. Yeah. yeah, they would think that you know this must be a very censored kind of podcast, mm. but they love it for how 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 raw and genuine the content is, lah. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, thank you for that, mm. To be but, honest, this yeah. is like. Uh, what I hope that all girls can have, you know, yeah. correct, this correct, conversation correct. that we exactly. have amongst correct. us. Because we can involve the boys next time. It can mm. also Maybe la. you can, can join also. us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true that I feel like mm. whenever we're together, these are the kind of conversations that we have anyway all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And now we give you an insight. Mm. Yeah. Just that this mm. time we are capturing uh, microphones and on cameras, mm. you know. Yeah including all of you in our little conversation. Yeah. And so, hopefully you've learned something. Yeah, mm-hmm. so what did y'all learn uh, from this little conversation today? No foreign objects. <laughs> hey, that's not the point. Hello? <laughs> Be careful with foreign <laughs> objects. Well, I learned that mm. if I am spotting in between my periods, mm-hmm. it is not too big a cause for concern and I don't have to worry so much that I lose sleep over it okay. mm. because it happens to many women and you know it can be many causes as mentioned in this episode of mm-hmm. Hush Podcast. Yeah. But if it gets too serious, you should definitely go and check out a doctor. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's right. Um, I've learned that you really need to be well informed about what's going on in your body. Mm. Yes. I really don't think it's a pisy conversation to have. Mm. But if I put myself in the shoes of, would I go to my mother and tell her that I'm bleeding abnormally now? No lah, I don't think it's a cause for concern. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, but if you are slightly younger, perhaps that is something mm. that yeah you need to do. If you can't see a doctor independently by yourself, mm. perhaps you need to you know, be more open, share it with an Someone who you trust, someone mm. older. Mm. I think um, this has maybe sort of like made me think a little bit more. And I think maybe if, you know, it gets like more irregular or like whenever something strange happens that I should probably go see a doctor, especially mm. since I haven't actually right. seen one, you know. So I should just get it checked up and see what's going on. What if all three of us go in there together? Like, <laughs> if we go together, lah. Moral support. <laughs> okay. Yeah, then okay. with producer N, producer L, producer yeah. another uh, L or so. <laughs> like, all go in there. Group checkup, huh? <laughs> you know, like, on group lessons, group class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Group what, the doctor, up? very busy, yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, at a nail salon, you all stay in one yeah. seat, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, please go get your pap smears. We mm-hmm. promise we will also go and get ours. Yep. Yes. I think we're overdue for it. Yeah. As well as the jabs that you need. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but we... you mentioned earlier, Hazel, that... It should be done before you're 26. Oh, so because uh, the other time, I think my friend mentioned something about subsidies. Oh. If you get your pap smear done before the age of 26, right. okay, then I think you're eligible for some subsidies or something like that. Question. Mm. So, I was 26 last year, right? Yeah. So, I've crossed, right? Yeah. But 2020 didn't exist. So, still can claim. <laughs> hey, maybe ah. Uh, <laughs> you should put this up as a legit reason yeah. and see if they accept Let's it. write an email. <laughs> and see how. Because <laughs> from my birthday this year, I'm still uh. turning 26 law. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Three of us going to get a pap smear done together. Like okay, yeah. But I think you can get a pap smear done all the way up to 29 years of age. Yes, recommended. Um, recommended, right? Yeah, 25 but, to 29 years old. But I believe my, my gynae told me for the cervical jab, right? It's best to get it before you have sexual intercourse for the right. first time. So if you're listening right now right. and you have yet to, you know, engage in sexual intercourse, mm. please go and get the jab. Mm-hmm. The efficacy is much higher. Mm. Mm. Ah. Huh. Yeah. This one not from Dr. Jamina, from my gynae. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Dr. Dolly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with that, we hope you have taken away something from this episode. We hope you have learned something or is beneficial or at least entertaining to you. <laughs> if not beneficial. Mm-hmm. Once again, my name is Hazel. I'm Azura. I'm Jermaine. And thank you for listening to us on this episode of Clarity's Hush Podcast. 
Don't forget, if you have any questions or comments about this episode, you can always slide into our DM or email us at hello at itsclarity.co. See you next episode! Bye! Bye. Hey, and I hear hmm? we have guests next week. Woo-hoo! Ooh! A special guest! That's a surprise! Wow! Woo-hoo.